Hi, John Sarton here with the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech Team. Today I'm going to talk about the Borax Bar and the dish. Basically what the, this is, is it's just a solid uh, block of borax and a ceramic dish. The ceramic dish is not glazed, so it has a rough texture. The way that you work with this is you're going to add water. I like using distilled water. Um, tap water is uh, sometimes can cause problems in soldering. And then you're going to rub your borax bar on the bottom of the dish. Now whenever you first get this, uh, you're going to notice that the dish and the bar is going to soak up a lot of water. You're just going to have to uh, add water every now and then to it. And what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to create a nice slurry of borax. Now the neat thing about this is once you get this slurry, slurry created, you can just leave it in the dish, add a little bit of water to it, um, mix it up a little bit with the bar, and you're going to have borax. So this can last you a really long time. Now this initial break-in period takes a little bit of time. Like I say, the ceramic dish is soaking up the water, so is the borax bar. But you can actually now see that there is a white slurry forming. All right. And that's all you have to do to, uh, to prep it and, uh, and start using this borax bar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover my piece. It's a mixture of uh, boric acid and uh, denatured alcohol. Uh, this acts as a barrier flux. And uh, if you uh, want more information about that, you can always look up um, barrier flux on our resource center on our website and get more information about that. And then what I did is I went ahead and I set uh, a small pallion of solder and I set the uh, seam of my ring right on top of that pallion of solder. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the borax. Go ahead and mix this up a little bit more. use my brush and then it is just like anything else you're going to apply the borax that you've ground up onto your solder seam and now you're ready to solder. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the torch And since this is silver, it does require more heat than gold does. It's a very conductive metal. So I personally like to warm up the majority of the ring before I go to my seam. It makes a better soldering job and uh, it's just something that I've always done. So now I'm going to go right to my seam. I'm going to flow my solder and now the solder job is done. That is how you use the, uh, the borax bar and the borax dish. Um, the neat thing about this is uh, this bar will last you for years and years. Um, all you have to do is, uh, if, uh, if this is dried out a little bit, all you have to do is add a little bit of water. Um, in the mornings, whenever you come into work, um, add a little bit of water, mix it up, get that slurry mixed up, and then you can uh, utilize it for all your soldering jobs. So I hope you found this information helpful. And if you have any questions, give us a call.